Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and another video game review. A few days ago, I picked up Reverse 1999, which is one of the latest anime mobile games. And while I was looking forward to this game in a major way, and I do think the art looks amazing, unfortunately, I just find everything else about it to be very low quality, low effort, low production, low IQ, lackluster, and lame. The thing is, when I first saw this game's trailers and setting, I thought we would be getting numerous British anime girls, and this was my initial draw to this game. As some of you already are aware, I do consider myself to be a massive Brit taboo. As an American, I've extensively learned Britain's culture, their language, spent considerable amount of time living in London, and was able to hold conversations with other Londoners and even Welsh people there on the daily. So obviously, the moment I entered this game, I instantly started summoning on the banners expecting to get multiple British anime girls. Unfortunately, it's with no pleasure that I have to inform you all that there is virtually no anime British waifus in this game. So far, I've only gotten 5 of this French Aegislass ripoff, an American, a Chinese Ghostbusters ripoff, and a Russian Amelia Earhart ripoff. And besides none of these high rarity characters being British, it also really just annoys me how the game's character design just rips off American inventions like Pokemon, Ghostbusters, and Amelia Earhart. It's just lazy, uninspiring, and uninteresting. Anyways, the point is, my first impression of the game was of great annoyance as I wasn't able to summon a single British anime girl, and I even went past my credit limit for the month of October last weekend. This forced me to basically have to starve myself for the remaining two days of the month as I really just didn't want to call my credit card company and explain that I needed more credit to obtain a British anime waifu. But all this aside, the game itself is also awful. It's basically an incomprehensible visual novel mixed in with brain dead easy combat. So I'm loading into a stage right now and I will let the first frame play for you all to get an idea. Konnichiwa. Um, I will say it already annoys me how she says all the lines in Japanese, which is, um, very distracting. Okay, I think she is done, so I can now read what she said. Like, I can't read what characters are saying in English while they are talking in Japanese at the same time. I have to, like, wait for the characters to stop talking before I can read, and it just makes the cutscenes take, um... Well, it makes them take twice as long. Anyways, the story itself of this game is a nonsensical, unhinged mess. Without going into spoilers, it's basically a time travel story that really just amounts to a Chinese ripoff of Doctor Who. But instead of trying to appeal to children like Doctor Who does, it tries to appeal to man-children in the form of anime mobile gamers, who confuse a nonsensical, complex story with being intellectual. Like, I've been called dumb for not understanding anything that is going on in this game story, but when I ask for basic plot summaries from different people, I always get a different version of events which means that no one really knows what's going on in this game story, just some people pretend to know. Now, the combat in this game is very brain-dead and remedial. It's pretty much just a dumbed-down version of Hearthstone, which I don't even know how they managed to do that. You basically just draw these random cards and you just click on them until either you die or the enemy dies. So, as you can see, the battles take a while, and no, there is no autoplay, so you just have to spam click on random cards to get through it as fast as possible. And once in a while, you will get lucky and draw this superpower card, so when you see that, for sure click on it. And as we can see, despite me having her maxed out at Portray 5, A Knight just can't give these hoes the protection they need. And I think they are going to, um, yeah, they are dead for sure. But I should be fine as now I have this hoe subbed in. Alright, one more attack should do it here. 
And that's all she wrote. So yeah, combat in this game, very brain dead, insultingly easy, and just not mentally challenging whatsoever. And if you do manage to somehow lose a level in this game, or even manage to not get all the stars, then you're probably just a diagnosable idiot. Despite both the story and combat in Reverse 1999 being very disappointing, as I always say in my anime mobile gaming reviews, I can always forgive a game and deem it worthwhile if it has PvP, or at least some way to showcase your superiority to other players. Unfortunately, there is no PvP in Reverse 1999, and you can't really show off your account either. Like, all people see is what's in your details page um, here, and as you can see, it just doesn't show a whole lot. Um, let me just go to one of my friends to show that. So, you see his characters, but I can't even click on any of them. So, there's really no way to tell who is superior in this game, and it just kind of makes me feel like an idiot for obtaining 5 copies of A Knight, who is honestly a dog shit unit. Anyways, overall, I feel like I fell for false advertising in a major way as I obtained 5 French AG Slash copies instead of an anime British waifu. And actually, the only British anime girl in this game is the main character, who you can't even play as. So I am going to have to be harsher than normal in my final review score for Reverse 1999 and give it a um 2... um 2.4 out of 10.